Hey guys, coming back at you with another video. Today I just wanted to talk about the top four things that I think some car enthusiasts just take way too far or just can get just absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, let's just hop into the video. So the first thing we can address or talk about, have a discussion about, is camber. 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 <laughs> Alright, so I, I'm a big fan when it's done tastefully. Now, you know, car rolls by, it's got a nice stance to it. I respect that. I think it looks cool. Props to you. But some people just take things way too far, like this. Or this. Or even this. But, yeah, overall, like, I'm a huge fan of, you know, stance cars or just campered out cars but sometimes people take things way too far and it just looks absolutely r ridiculous I mean there comes a point when it's just not gonna work out <laughs> I mean it also it comes to the point where you have to like fix your car so much to the point where you're like ruining body panels or just stuff like that where you have to put like latches and stuff <laughs> like um like band-aids like fake little band-aid things to like say like oh it's hurt or whatever like i've seen that a lot but tastefully done camber can look really well but it's just to the point where it's ridiculous you just stop just stop please the second thing we can talk about have a discussion about is lowering cars i mean this really comes in in the same position as cambered cars i mean if you want to lower your car it typically comes with camber but not always i mean what i like the most is like a low car parked like if you just put bags on your car or something like that where it can rise up you can pull out get over the speed bumps but if it's not like that and it's just slammed to the ground 100 percent of the time uh why why you're you're gonna you're scraping your car over everything um the only place where your car is gonna work out is on like a track where the road is glass i mean what why are you trying to destroy your car i mean it looks good parked but driving around it's just not gonna work out i mean please stop it looks good parked that's about it number three burnouts i mean Burnouts are cool. Everybody loves burnouts. I love burnouts. You love burnouts. Um, my neighbor probably doesn't like burnouts, but whatever. <laughs> but it comes to the point where you need to know the time and the place to do a burnout. Maybe at 3 in the morning in a parking lot down the road. <laughs> but during a car show where you could potentially shut the whole thing down. Um, that that that's really not gonna work out. I mean, I have I've had so many so many bad experiences, probably too. But <laughs> at car shows where idiots or people on bikes just do ridiculous burnouts, and the cops show up, shut things down, and stuff like that. Like, here are two stories I have. So, like during the summer car season, you know, we have these massive meets. Parking lots are just filled to the brim and then like uh these bikers come through and they just start doing crazy stuff and then the cop shows up and shut everything down one of the funnier experiences is i, I was at the rally for the ranch it's uh one of the bigger um for the ranch more regulated car show where you know you have to sign up and all kinds of things you get like a little placard on your car and stuff like that but towards the end of this show this guy in his white corvette he was pulling out i think a twin turbo lamborghini was behind him uh so corvette pulling out he starts to do a burnout the guy in the lamborghini is like yeah fuck yeah whatever um he does the burnout he goes off and the <laughs> the security and the police are like they just go after him but they don't go after the corvette first they go after the lamborghini and then i think um another one tried to go after the corvette but the lamborghini didn't do anything because it's twin turbo really fragile i mean can't really do much in those cars except for drive them in a straight line and that's even dangerous um but when you're putting out that much power but the funniest thing was when one of the um 
the security guards, I think it was, he hopped in his little go-kart, uh, golf cart thing, and there were, like, barriers set up to prevent people from coming into the show, so he, <laughs> those barriers were still up, and he decided to go straight on the road, and he couldn't go after this Corvette because a barrier was uh, blocking his way. It was the funniest thing. I wish I would have videoed it. Um, but unfortunately, I was too caught up in the moment, just watching shit go down. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's exactly why some people take burnouts way too far. Look and see if there's a cop around you. That's all you have to do. Then spin your tires. What we're going to talk about coming in at number four is ridiculous power outputs. I mean, 1500 horsepower is where I think I would draw the line. I mean, that's where most car companies, maybe 1300 horsepower are really, right now in 2016, uh, going into 2017, that's where like the most uh, power is coming from. I mean, what what is it, the Koenigsegg Riera, I think 1500 horsepower, like 1800, but really 1500 or 1300 or something like the Bugatti, uh, the new Chiron, 1300 right 1500 I don't, I don't remember but you know that's that's typically well but these tuner cars like if you have your like 2500 horsepower supras and stuff like that i mean that's just to the point where you can't really drive your car unless you're just taking it to a drag strip or a track day not even i mean the reliability when you get into those massive, massive power outputs, it's its just ridiculous. And you can't even use your car unless it's built extremely well, like factory <laughs> built, like the Chiron, the Regera. And even those have slew of problems. So just calm down when you're <laughs> throwing a twin turbo on your Supra or something like that because you're never going to get to drive it. <laughs> and when you do it's probably gonna break down All right, so that's pretty much the end of the video if you like this video if you hated this video drop a comment below um, and just give me some suggestions on stuff that I should talk about um this was just kind of out of the blue just thought it was something probably stealing something from like some other youtubers you can call me out on that but whatever I'm just trying to make a video every day and yeah so if you like this video drop a like and share it and also subscribe so we can grow the channel and maybe one day hit a thousand subs we're almost there we're almost there maybe we can get there in two months maybe one month that would be really awesome so yeah I'll leave you there